create a cloud function to download Google BigQuery table to uh, cloud storage as a CSV file. Uh, and also uh, in this function, I'm including the uh, functionality of schedule in the function, basically run on a time. So first of all, let's look at, at the code. This is a simple code uh, to run, uh, download uh, uh, Google BigQuery table as a CSV file. Uh, if you look at it, uh, here I have given the project name and then the uh, data set ID, table ID, and then the bucket name. Uh, I think all of you guys are familiar with this uh, uh, Google project name and how to create a bucket. And here I have uh, included the trick of uh, creating a date function and uh, rename the file based on the date so that uh, uh, Google, uh, when the function run, uh, it will not replace the same CSV. It will create a new one every day. So now let's go to the Google Cloud Console and start creating the function. Uh, don't worry guys, I'm going to share all the codes and everything in uh, uh, GitLab so you guys can download. Uh, first, uh, in order to create this function, we need to create a scheduler. So what I'm going to do is go, go into Google Cloud Console and search for Cloud Scheduler. So this is uh, Cloud Scheduler. Uh, this is the one that I can use to schedule a job. Uh, basically, I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to give a name as a test one. It doesn't matter guys, you can give any name and this frequency. Frequency is given as a uh, cron job. So basically, let us uh, let let me show you guys. Uh, if I type this one, you can say it's uh, this is a minute, this is the hour, so on and this is the year. Uh, if you can, it's 9 a.m. every day is running, Ma equal to Monday, Monday, every Monday is running. Uh, you can get uh, a lot of information about cron job uh, if you google uh, it and how to schedule it so next thing is i'm gonna have to give a time time uh, zone so what i'm gonna do is uh, uh, select a time zone uh, i'm gonna select uh, est so continue and then uh, next is uh, uh, configure the execution here I'm going to select the PubSub because that's the uh, function, uh, the method that we are going to use to schedule the our cloud function. So here uh, need, we need to select a topic, but uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new topic for the new uh, our new cloud function. So I'm going to give them a name, uh, new function. You can give any name that's it uh, i'm not going to go through all the others uh, uh, options here because uh, those are a bit advanced so i'm going to create a and message just put a test here uh, because in here it not uh, mattered and uh, i i know you guys uh, cloud function it's a very uh, cloud uh, cloud pop shop it's a very advanced topic i'm not going to cover fully here i'm just going to show it uh, to use the cloud function, uh, cloud pops up to use uh, exec uh, execute a uh, uh, cloud function. I'm not going to change any of uh, the options here. I'm just going to click create. Now our uh, cloud scheduler function is ready. If you now go to uh, pops up, you will see a new uh, function is already here created as well so the next stage is to uh, us to create a cloud uh, function uh, using this uh, pop sub topic so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go create function uh, I'm gonna give name as a test one and I'm gonna keep the same uh, location uh, now the trigger is not uh, HTTP because we are going to schedule this one we are going to click uh, select the cloud pops up and here we need to select the topic so what I'm gonna do select the topic that we just created and uh, we can like give the retry on failure but I'm not going to give it here because uh, uh, it's not necessary 
uh, for a testing purpose. I'm going to save it. And then uh, here are the area where you can uh, uh, allocate to your resources. You can increase the memory or a timeout based on the usage. Let's say if you are converting a large uh, uh, table, you might need to increase your memory allocation so that uh, uh, it will not time out. I'm going to select next. Now, uh, yeah, I think you guys familiar with uh, this uh, interface. So here, I'm going. What I'm going to do? I'm going to select here Python because that's the language I have used to write this function. And then uh, to upload the file. So what you have to do is uh, before uploading anything, you need to like uh, have your uh, your functions and a main py and then the requirement. Uh, here is cloud function BigQuery. So uh, this function in a uh, uh, zip format so that you can directly upload it to uh, Google Cloud. So what I'm going to do go here and go select the up zip upload and click on this button and then I'm going to select the my zip file. And then you have to give a storage bucket so that uh, it will keep uh, first it's going to uh, get the code to the Google Cloud storage and then run it from there. So I'm going to just uh, give a uh, one of the bucket and then everything right guys we just have to click on the next button called deploy uh, it will take a couple of minutes to function to be created and deploy uh, meantime i'm gonna explain a few things so uh, here a job is gonna run at uh, every day nine so if you want to like get a better understanding of Chrome job scheduler just google Chrome uh, job scheduler you will find uh, this website where you can like test it out uh, what time so this is 4 4 a.m 4 1 and let's say this is 2 the 2 a.m let's say this is uh, uh, 2 l 2 l and if you put uh, uh, 13 1 p.m. and this is the month can you see it is given everything so it shows how to create a Chrome job the based on the your requirement let's say if I want to run um, uh, every Monday so what I'm gonna do is every Monday at uh, 8 45 uh, so I'm gonna make it 8 and I'm gonna make it 45 so 8 45 next run would be next day 8.45 so let's see guys our uh, cloud function should be uploaded by now I'm going to refresh it and see still guys uh, it's, it's being de uh, deployed I need to wait a couple of seconds here uh, I need to give a bit of explanation in PubSub as well this is actually a uh, way of messaging service uh, this is a bit of advanced I'm gonna do few couple of video on this one as well in future and I think we are, uh, I'm gonna wait till the function deploy uh, another thing I want to show you guys uh, our function is deployed so let's what we're gonna do uh, let's uh, going to test this one so basically um, uh, first of all I'll show you the where the file going to be saved this is the place so if I uh, you, you can see there's a no additional file anything else here so uh, this is uh, if you look at the locations this is the location that I'm going to save this bucket name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the cloud scheduler I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow so what I'm I can manually trick this one so force to run can you see it's become successful then if I go to the cloud function it will start executing it automatically uh, we can check from the logs So here finish execution and 
then if I go to a bucket and check it there will be a file created can you see guys so already downloaded that's particular table as created as a CSV so let's say if you guys wanted to like uh, um, in some cases if you want to like uh, download 1 GB 2 GB uh, table in here in Google from Google BigQuery if the table is about 1 to 2 GB make sure you guys change the uh, cloud functions uh, size basically um, if you wanted to change it uh, you go he here and edit it make sure you change this runtime and memory allocation so that it won't run run out okay guys that's all i'm going to upload everything to uh, github so that you guys can download the code and everything and test it out by yourself thank you guys please subscribe